Question 2C of the CSEC January 2018 paper. It says here, you have two statements. Statement 1. Two adult tickets and three children tickets cost $43. Statement 2. One adult ticket and three children child tickets cost $18.50. Let X represent the cost of an adult ticket and Y the cost of a ticket for a child. Write two equations in X and Y to represent the information above. Hmm. Let's see. So what you have, two adult tickets. So you have an adult ticket here and an adult ticket here. Alright, just explaining the statement in some details you would not um go through all of this explanation in the exam right but i want to understand how this problem really works so you have two adult tickets plus and you have three children ticket one two three good the cost of all of them is $43. Then one adult ticket, so you have an A, and one adult ticket and one ticket for a child costs $18.50. Now, here, X is the cost of an adult ticket. So if you're going to buy an adult ticket, one ticket you have to pay x two tickets you have to pay another x the cost of an adult ticket why is the cost of a ticket for a child so you buy this child ticket you pay y you pay y again you pay y so basically what this is saying is that two x two adult tickets plus three child tickets three y is forty three dollars all right now here you have one adult ticket so you must pay x dollars for it you also have you also need one child ticket so you pay y dollars for that child ticket so you have one adult plus one child is 1850 so you have one x usually just leave out the one plus the one y is 1850 so it says write two equations in x and y to represent the information above so you have the two equations here good now later on it says in part two, solve the equations to determine the cost of an adult ticket. Let's see how you're going to deal with that part of things. You're going to solve the equations. So, let's just make some space here. You now have both equations. Have so you can see that it's a pair of simultaneous equations, right? 2x plus 3y is equal to 43. And x plus y is equal to $18.50. Now we're going to use the process of elimination to solve it. Elimination is a, a bit quicker in this case than other methods. And remember, more detailed explanation as to how the solutions work you should look at the simultaneous equations videos here now let's say this is equation one let's label this as equation one and this as equation two if you add equation one and two uh, first of all it says the cost of an adult ticket what you want is x 
So let's eliminate y. If you add equations 1 and 2, you can put the 1 in front of this. 3y plus 1y gives you 4y. You haven't eliminated y. If you subtract them, 3y minus 1y gives you 2y. You still haven't eliminated y. What you need is 0y to eliminate y. If we had another equation with a 3y, then we could take this 3y, then subtract the other 3y and get no y, or 0y. So let's multiply this by 3. So I want equation 2 multiplied by 3. Each item separated by plus or minus will be multiplied by 3. Or separated by equal sign as well. 3 times x gives 3x plus 3 is 1x times 3 gives a 3x. 3 times 1y gives you 3y is equal to 18.5 by 3. So I have 18.5. Let's save time and use a calculator. 18.5 multiplied by 3 will give 55.5. Alright? So, let's have here 55.5. This is a new equation. Let's call this equation 3. Now, let's put back equation 1. Let's put it down here. 2x plus 3y is equal to 43. Now, let's subtract them because 3y minus 3y will be no y. You will have no y's left. This is equation 1. Same as above. 3 equation 1. I want to have equation 3 minus equation 1. So you minus, you subtract corresponding items. 3x minus 2x gives you 1x. 3y minus 3y gives you no y's. You don't have even have to write it. Equals. And you have 55.5 minus 43 gives you 12.5. So you have 12.5 there. All right. So, I have x so far, and we see that this is $12.50. So, let's just recap a bit what you have. The question here, it says, uh, one, you have two adult tickets, that, and three children ticket cost $43. Adult is x, children is y. So two adult tickets as two x, three children's tickets that three y equals forty three. Then one adult and one child ticket is eighteen fifty, and you have the equation here. The, the, the equations, I should say. Then you're asked to solve the equations to determine the cost of an adult ticket. So using elimination, we subtracted. We multiply the equation 2 by 2 so that we have a 3y up here and a 3y down here to subtract. Then 3y minus 3y is no y. You don't have any y. Y is gone. It's eliminated. Eliminate means to wipe out, to get rid of. No y's. 3x minus 2x gives you 1x. 55.5 minus 43 gives you 12.5. So the cost of an adult ticket is $12.5 and 50 cents remember now that you have other ways you can do it you could use substitution although it's going to be a bit longer you could use a graph that even longer you could use matrices which is well not very easy to remember the method used All right the matrix method is not very easy to remember at all but let's see what else is there. Oh, it says 12 marks. So question one is question two is done. We move on to question three later on, right? But just before we move on to question three, let's look back at this. 
and use well let's try your hand at using substitution and see what would happen we see that it's twelve dollars fifty all right let's put it over here use a substitution method now if you use substitution what you could say is that you subtract x from both sides of equation 2 over here x 1x minus 1x is 0x so you have y equals 1850 minus eight minus x right i'm subtracting x from both sides then this now this is y so if i should take out this y and put 3 and all of this there then i would have 2x plus 3 times 1850 minus x close bracket equal 43 that's what we have then multiplying i would have 2x plus 3 by 1850 what was it again it was 3 by 1850 and that would give 55.5 so getting 55.5 3 times this then 3 times this now minus 3x equals 43 2x minus 3x would be negative x plus 55.5 equals 43 continuing over here let me separate this with a line so let me rewrite this x negative x plus 55.5 equals 43 so negative x is equal to 43 minus 55.5 remember you subtract 55.5 and then what you would have is 43 minus 55.5 right and you get negative 12.5 that's what you would get here equals negative 12.5 so right here you say negative x is negative 12.5 so what is positive x positive x must be 12.5 oh. so you see that it does work out with substitution but it's um kind of different all right so we move on to question what is it? Question 3 at a later date. So, I will see you then.